So here's the thing. This kind of video may not be coming out at the best time when you consider the fact that the Detroit Red Wings won a huge, huge game with a capital H-U-G-E against the Tampa Bay Lightning yesterday. Who knew the Wings had it in them, right? What a great win. But when it comes to the momentum of the team, the Wings are still in the mix of the postseason. They're not out of it yet. And in fact, it's going to be a while before they're officially mathematically eliminated. But every few games, every few wins, every few points, it all matters. And that's ultimately what you want out of a team like this. If you had told Wings fans back in October, hey, on April 2nd, 2024, the team will be this amount of points away from the postseason, every game is going to be important, I think a lot of Wings fans would have been happy with that. But even though this seems to be where the team is at right now, I'd say they're in a pretty particularly good place. We still had ourselves a rumor that popped up on Detroit Hockey Now that I wanted to go out there and share with you because this is a pretty big one. We talked the other week about the idea of one former CSKA Moscow head coach, Sergei Fedorov, heading over to Detroit. That was a pretty big deal. A lot of Wings fans in the comments section of that one were yelling and screaming about how they want this to happen. And I want it to happen too. It'd be pretty cool, right? But the unfortunate truth is that it's probably not going to happen. Sergei Fedorov is not going to be in a position to be welcomed back with open arms to this hockey team just because of some of the historical parts of it and maybe just a lack of interest. Who really knows? But this article on Detroit Hockey Now published by Bob Duff from yesterday goes out there and asks the question as to whether or not a former cup winner could be the next coach of the Wings. Craig Berube led the St. Louis Blues to a 2019 title. This article will be linked in the description, and it opens up by saying this, an NHL source is telling the Hockey Now Network that the possibility of a coaching change is something that Steve Eiserman is thinking about. According to this source, Steve Eiserman might be considering a change in his coach in the offseason, where the Wings continue their free fall out of a Stanley Cup playoff position. If that is indeed the route that Iserman wants to take, the man at the top of the list of desirable candidates on Iserman's short list would be former St. Louis Blues coach Craig Berube. Now, the article then talks about the current standings and the points race and how the Wings are still in it and how they're mathematically in it, everything that we've been talking about this entire past few weeks here. But it goes out there and says afterwards that current head coach Derek Lalonde is in the second year of a three-year pact with the club. Certainly, there is cause of concern within the team's performance, slow starts, and competent puck management, not to mention defensive structure. They all remain frequent issues. Another NHL source was telling Hockey Now that on Friday, Eiserman read the riot act to his coaching staff and players regarding their lackluster performance of late. They followed that up by blowing a third-period lead in a 3-2 shootout loss in Florida, and they're currently 0-2-2 on a season-high five-game road trip. Detroit completes the journey on Monday at Tampa Bay. Now, the article was written, of course, before yesterday's Detroit-Tampa Bay victory, so add a win into that 0-2-2 record. But to hear the idea that an NHL source is tossing out, they're saying, yeah, Steve Eiserman read the riot act to his coaching staff talking about how bad they've all been, only to see the team follow up whatever riot act that could have been with four straight losses on a road trip, it definitely does not bode well into trying to project whether or not Derek Lalonde will be a part of this team's future. And hey, believe me, I've made my fair share of videos talking about different issues with the Wings. We've talked about Petrie, we've talked about the team performance as a whole, we talked about how they were playing when Larkin was not in the lineup, and the one constant that always brings itself up in the comment section is, hey, it's Derek Lalonde. Lalonde is the problem. He's the guy playing Jeff Petrie more minutes than Moritz Sider. He's the guy who's developing these strategies that don't allow the team to be able to break in on a 4-on-3 power play opportunity in overtime. Everybody has been tossing the book at Lalonde, and I'm not going to go out there and disagree. So to hear from an apparent NHL source speaking to the Hockey Now network of writers and journalists that Steve Eiserman is thinking about it too, it does get me intrigued as to where everything is going to go. Now the article does go out there and say, that it's well known within Detroit hockey circles that Iserman is very tight-lipped about any moves he'd be considering. Only a select few within his circle would be privy to such information. Generally, nothing of substance leaks out of Detroit. 
With that being the case, it's always wise to take any rumors relating to the Wings and Steve Eiserman with at minimum a grain of salt. So, believe it or not, that's your choice. But I'm just presenting what is talked about here in this article. By the way, link is in the description if you want to read more about it. There's some extra thoughts in there about Berube, about the Lalonde situation. But I wanted to shift the focus over to Craig Berube a little bit too, because when it comes to that situation in St. Louis, he was the guy that allowed this Blues team to win the Stanley Cup in 2018-19. It was a really big challenge because they were last place in the NHL at one point in that season, and then you had Jordan Binnington get called up, Jake Allen wasn't the number one guy anymore, and the team started winning, and Craig Berube willed a Stanley Cup into existence in St. Louis, and you saw Blues fans absolutely adore the hell out of this guy for it. You even saw that when Berube left the team, like everybody was still defending the guy saying, hey, we acknowledge this may not have been the right time for him to stick around, but we love this guy. We adore this guy. And even nowadays, you talk about St. Louis, Craig Berube doesn't have to buy a drink or a dinner or anything if he's going out to eat in St. Louis, Missouri. That city loves him. And the way he was able to play that team, you know, they played with pace, they played with consistency, there was a defensive structure to a lot of their guys. The article also talks about how Barube coached a lot of the current Wings team. You've got guys like Ville Husso, Wallman, Perron, Robbie Fabry, they all played for Barube in St. Louis. And there even are some people in the body of this post on Twitter Here's a reply from Tyler James. Craig Berube on TNT said that he thinks Detroit will make the playoffs. I think Berube must think Lalonde will be fired, and he's angling for the job. Now that is even further speculation, but I wanted to just toss this idea out there because I know a lot of Wings fans have been discussing the firing of Derek Lalonde, and if there is some sort of a decision to be made there, is Berube near the top of your list? This article and the NHL source that is listed says that he's at the top of Iserman's list, but is he at the top of yours? And if you had to boil it all down, let's say everything's equal, let's say there's free reign with whomever it is, who would you rather see as the head coach of the Red Wings in 2024-2025? I'll give you three options. One, Craig Berube, like we've talked about here in this video, Stanley Cup championship guy, St. Louis guy, very beloved, now a free agent coach. Number two, would you rather see Sergei Fedorov in that position instead? Just do whatever it takes to bring this guy back to Detroit, one of the most polished players in the NHL's history books, and one of the best wings of all time. See him behind the bench after having two straight CSKA Moscow KHL championship victories, and then a third season where they lost in the first round, and then he got... I was gonna say fired, but no, he didn't get fired. It seemed more like he left. Or, third option, would you rather just have Derek Lalonde? I mean, the guy has one extra year in his contract, so if there is some sort of a firing and then a hiring of somebody else, then that does mean the Wings will have to be paying more money to more people involved. And while coaches don't necessarily do anything to the salary cap, they're well within the reins outside of that body of infrastructure, there still is something to be thought about when you consider the financials of the Detroit Red Wings. Would it be appropriate or would you prefer the team to be spending as much money as they could on all these coaches? And with this in mind, would you rather them just say, okay, we've got one extra year of Lalonde, let's just suck it up. If we're good, we're good. If we're bad, we're bad. Steve Eiserman's gonna build the team better. He's gonna get some extra players. These younger guys are gonna become older, so it's gonna be easier to be better. So let's just try to stick it out one more year. Three options, Berube, Lalonde, or Fedorov. But according to this NHL insider source, it's apparent that Berube might be the number one target. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about these Red Wings rumors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ash Rolls 99. And bye.